Okay, everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, we're just grinding a rear main surface area. Uh, this came from a, uh, I think a 1941 or 42 uh, Ford Jeep, uh, GPW. And uh, the crank was already turned by another company. I don't know who actually did the crank, but the rear main seal area was in real tough shape and they said they wouldn't weld it and grind it for them. So they put it in the engine and uh, it leaked immediately. They tried a uh, rubber seal, they tried a rope seal. Just can't keep oil in the engine. In this particular Jeep, um, they gave me a call that belongs to American Legion down in Virginia and, uh, and they have a trailer that goes with it and the veteran uh, that passed away uh, they put the casket in the trailer and they drive it to the cemetery so I couldn't say no even though I'm super busy I couldn't say no to that so I believe it's an important cause so I'm trying to get this uh, back to him as soon as I can uh, now I tried to weld this up last night and it was super super porous I've got a lot of porosity uh, you know maybe one out of a thousand you get like that it's just, it's just crazy this one would not weld up good so I had to switch my tactics and uh, weld it in a different manner but it's welded and we're just coming off the really rough spots and we're going to get this turned down to 2 inch 310 factory steady and uh, we got a steady rest on here crank is running true uh, about maybe five tenths about a half a thou uh, like I say it's been turned and the quality of the grind or dirt in the engine I'm not sure the crank finish is not real good uh, I might polish that up for them but um, we'll just chip away at this and, uh, and get that down to size, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're there. Okay, hey guys, we're coming into size on this. I'm just going to show you the Arnold gauge on there. Um, you can see it just tickling maybe half a tenth or so. And just want to show you how true the rear main seal surfaces to your main journals. Got your main journal perfectly set up and the rear main is now perfectly concentric so you won't have any leaks uh, due to that. But um, we're going to take the uh, Arnold gauge off and measure. You see we maybe have to go another half thou there. Hard to get it focused in here. Uh, maybe another half thou we gotta go and uh, then we'll polish it up okay guys we're right on size there and I want to show you the finished rear main seal area and it's kind of tricky with the light and the shining and stuff um, <clears throat> I've probably done over a dozen of these in the last month and a half or so. Uh, guys are complaining they can't get the seals to work. and um, The seals now have been fixed. The rear main stock size is going to work for you. Uh, if you have any kind of pitting in this area here, uh, it's probably going to leak. So uh, apparently it's getting harder to find... Uh, shops to weld and grind those. Uh, I don't know why I thought everybody did that that ground cranks But like I said the the, the crank guys that did this one uh, Didn't fix that for them uh, Now this crank uh, You know guys um, when you put this back in the motor uh, check out your oiling system to make sure everything's clean because you, you do have some some uh, scratches here that I could easily catch with my fingernail um, the crank uh, is not in great shape for, for only having a few few hours on it so 
uh, check out your your oiling system and, and check out the the cleanliness of your block uh, I'm gonna throw a scotch bright on the on the um, the polishing uh, tool here and I'm gonna run a scotch bright over that uh, I don't want to take any material off I just want to try and smooth out those those terrible areas the rods and the mains uh, this crank is already 60 on the rods and uh, there's nothing you're going to do after that. Uh, there's no bearings after that, so uh, be very careful with this crank. Uh, but the rear main seal area is perfect. Won't have any trouble with that. Put a seal in there, and uh, and you'll be good to go. So uh, let's switch over to a Scotch Brite polishing belt and uh, see if we can help this crank out just a little bit. Okay guys, there's the scotch Bright belt. Those are fantastic for polishing. They don't remove any material. And like I say, we don't want to move any air, remove any material from this crank. It's already small enough. So, uh, I already polished up the rear main seal area with a three quarter belt and some rouge. And uh, we're just gonna try and get some of these heavy scratches out. I mean, that, that one there is, is just a disaster there, and, and so is this rod. I mean, this is just terrible. Uh, I'm going to try and get it the best I can for you, and uh, we'll start polishing it up, and uh, hopefully it'll take out some of the big snags, and uh, you'll have a long life with this crank. All right, guys, let's see what we can do here. see just that little bit made a big difference let's take a look at that let me get this off the stand this center main was, was terrible it really came into shape now there's still there's still a line in it I don't know if that's from the engine running or from the last crank grinder. I'm not sure what's going on with this crank. Like I said, I was just I was just uh, gonna do the rear main on, on this guy here. And uh, we still got some scratches in number three, but nothing you can catch with your fingernail now. Just that little bit with the scotch bright helped out. Um, so guys, just when you get this crank, clean it real good. I'm gonna run some brushes through here clean it down real real good again uh, I'll put it in a bag but clean it again and uh, and like I say check your uh, check your block for cleanliness and, and your oil system and make sure you got a good filter in there and just make sure you got everything right and uh, and it should last you a long time alright I hope you get your Jeep back up and running again and continue to uh, serve the veterans uh, that have sadly passed away and uh, I hope you get this Jeep back on the road and, and keep going with that so it's all set I'm gonna get it boxed up for you and uh, shipped out just as fast as I can okay everybody uh, thanks for watching and like I say if you want a leak free L or F head you have any pitting there if your size is not 2 inch 310, if you're smaller than that, this one started out, I don't know why, but it was uh, 2 inch 285. So, you know, that far off, you're never going to seal even with a rope seal. So, 
If you want a leak-free Jeep, and it is possible, weld it, grind it, 2 inch 310 is your target number. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.